in the name of the My name is the Chief Leonard Andrew of the Lilwat people. I'm also and welcome. The flame actually came over from Greece. Eh? We were invited there to bring the torch to the, the beginning of the torch relay. And at that time, we each had a churn in holding the flame as we went across on a canoe eh? to bring it to the the people that are involved in running the torch relay. In holding that flame, it really does a lot to you because of the fact now now it's reality. Now it's, uh, it's something that's been there for many, many years. The recognition of our territory, really. Not only with the other governments, with the rest of the world. Now, wherever we go, they, they are starting to, to realize that, hey, there are distinct people out there that, that own, own the lands, eh? other than the existing governments and, and the people that live in that territory. And therefore, they're, they're going to be the f official hosts of the, the upcoming Olympics. Of course, my, my dad, being a, a former chief, was one of my mentors. Eh? Therefore, a lot of the other chiefs also were my mentors in regards to what the needs of the community were. And that, that was very inspiring in regards to, to ru eventually running for chief. Prior to the Olympic movement, the ne negative aspects of all First Nations people have been coming forward, or the stereo stereotyping through film and et cetera, through media even. Eh? And I think now, of course, uh, it is our opportunity to, to say to the world exactly who we are. Because we're not only Shtat Imhulit, but Ul people. Eh? And I think, therefore, it gives us a chance to, to say, OK, this is what we really are. You know, we're, we're not only breathing, thriving you know, people that have lived in this land for, for many millennia and will continue to do so, even way, way beyond the, the Olympics.